The life of a bird dog is full of highs and lows. In Western North Dakota, we celebrate their passion to hunt with a lifetime commitment to conservation. That's beautiful. Chasing wild birds on the open prairie, this late season adventure turns from our dream hunt into a fight for survival. The Flush, presented by Federal Ammunition. The state of North Dakota holds a special place in my heart. Rooster! I've been hunting birds here with my buddies since we were old enough to drive a car. There's a freedom that I feel on this wide open landscape. And there are birds here. Lots of birds. Ducks, geese, grouse, partridge, and of course, pheasants. Rooster. When I leave North Dakota, I'm always looking for a reason to come back. Today, we have one. Actually, we have four. Their names are Bridger, Riggins, Daisy, and Quill. They're the newest dog life members of Pheasants Forever. There are four new ones, which is just incredible. To adding more dogs into the ranks of PF and QF. To celebrate our commitment to conservation, we brought our bird dogs together to hunt. I spend as many days as I can out in the field with them. I probably wouldn't be out there if it wasn't for them. There's, to me, not a better way to honor them than being able to put money towards building the areas that they love. Renee Tamala and Emily Spoliar are two of North Dakota's most passionate upland bird hunters. They understand the need for quality habitat. Look at them all. They just keep going. <gasps> Our membership dollars will help to create more wild places just like this. We're in Southwest North Dakota, hunting in the state's pheasant belt. It is mid-December, so it is technically late season. Uh, we close out here at the beginning of January. It can get a little annoying to hunt roosters this time of year because they don't like to play nice. You'll have birds that are gonna bust at 100 yards or 200 yards or further, but the ones that hold will typically hold really nicely. We've hunted late season roosters enough to know that most birds will escape and that's okay. It's the challenge that comes with trying to outsmart them that we all love. We have our work cut out for us, but that's what makes it fun. There's a lot of birds that went that way. Easily a hundred birds just got out of here. They all went this way. Don't get birds, it's not for lack of birds. Oh. I don't think I've seen you miss before. You are human. They beat me all the time. <laughs> I have so much respect for them being able to carve out a living in this landscape. Daisy's all bird drunk. Quill is probably the same. It's a harsh place to live, and they do it really well when they have the right habitat. You don't want it to be too easy. No, you don't. And if you have it all figured out, what's the fun in that? Daisy's on point right here. 95 feet. Oh, rooster. Catch it up. Nice work. Uh -oh. Good girl. Good girl. Give. Oh. Give. Oh. Give. 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 Thank you. We're on the board, Renee. Nice <laughs> work. And they just keep on flying. <sighs> I don't think it gets any prettier than that. 100 birds up, one down, Rooster. and a long winding river valley still to go. 
feels good to be back in North Dakota. <laughs> it's nice to have you back. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Ammunition, Waltons, Rufflin Performance Kennels, Pheasants Forever, and by Benelli. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Start planning at hellond.com. Rene, we got a point. 130. Is she down on the bank? 78, straight north. There's a bird in that log. Oh, pen! Pen! Whoa. Good girl! <gasps> that never ever gets old. Such a magical thing. That was so cool. Today's hunt goes to our dogs. Most bird hunts do, but this one is extra sentimental. Come here, pup pup. How are you? Quill is a new dog life member of Pheasants Forever as of this week. It's just another way to tell him that I love him and I love doing this life alongside him. Uh oh, there's a rooster. Emily Spoliar and I made the same choice. Look at that beautiful dog. Being able to give back to the landscapes that we get so much from, it's just the perfect way to spend that money and, and to, to honor them. I think those birds landed and just ran. What a view. This is a special place. Our dog life memberships will help to fuel the mission at Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever. We're the Habitat organization. Put our dollars in Habitat, getting boots on the ground to deliver Habitat. It's money well spent, and for someone like me, it's, it's a huge investment. Pen, pen, oh, there's a pile up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll ultimately receive more opportunities to hunt for wild birds with our dogs. She's all business over there. And this never gets old. Nice shot, Renee. Oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. All the way. <laughs> nice shot, Renee. Oh, right there, rooster. Oh, dude, you just locked it. Whoa. Beautiful. Oh, oh, turkey. Whoa. Oh, they're running. Is it a rooster? Oh, oh. Oh, close on point. And Jesus. You expect me to believe that after all the birds I watched pouring here and there, that only one hen remained? Are you kidding me? Quill is a hard charging dog. He's full on German and can drive me absolutely mad. Uh, and he's lucky that I am as, as stubborn as he is because some days, some days. Some days, Quill simply makes this world a better place. Quill is Renee's two-year-old German wire-haired pointer. Okay, all right, no. I have never been as challenged or inspired or as loved by anything as I have by Quill. That's Bridger. Emily's five-year-old Cocker Spaniel. Bridger loves to root pheasants out of North Dakota's thickest cover. He has exceeded every expectation. He's definitely my best friend. My dog Daisy seems to fit perfectly into this pack. My gut says they're gonna be just on the bottom side of this hill. Oh, there goes one. Oh, they're running that far ahead, wow. Whoa. <laughs> Couldn't shoot that first one because the hen was blocking the shot. Find some more, guys. Okay. Oh, Rooster, Emily. Wow, 
Watch it. Go down, go down, go down. Shoot. Shoot. That's the thicket that they went into. Okay. Oh, right there. Oh, Hans! Oh. Emily with a double! Hans! Nice job. I had such a beautiful view of that covey rise. Oh, we've seen a lot of birds today. A double on the Huns. I sometimes catch myself forgetting how exciting that can be just to go out and see wild birds, let alone being able to, to shoot them. I love it. Boom, boom, two down. Look at you. The harder we hunt, the more opportunities we get. Nice shot, Renee. Come on, Quilly, bring it here. Bring it here. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Well done. Nice. That feels good. Yeah. Feel the, feel it once. Oh, it's a heavy. Yeah. That is a monster, Renee. <laughs> what a bird. Cool. A lot will get up and outsmart you, and not give you the chance, but there will always be those stragglers that hold back and give you a fair opportunity. One at a time. It's always special. I really enjoy hunting roosters in December. When it works, it really works. Rooster. Down. It's running. Uh-oh. Fetch it up, Daisy. Quilt. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Good, good. That is a, that is a pretty Healthy bird. bird. Yeah, he was buried in that Jeez. cover. I watched him just towards the end of the season. Each one is just a little bit sweeter because you know it's coming to a close. Hazards is the job, Bridger. It's easy to cherish this late season success, but there is a drastic change on the horizon. The Flush is brought to you by Nutrisource, Aluma Trailers, Big Timber Fasteners, DeWalt, and by North Dakota Tourism. Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever are on a mission to help bird hunters like us find more wild birds on public land. Join Pheasants Forever or Quail Forever today and your $35 membership will help us to create more wildlife habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Your investment will go right back into the ground, making a difference today that will last forever. Oh, that's so cool. Upland bird hunters seem to share a few common traits. We love the land, a good adventure, wild birds. Right here. Oh, hey. yeah. wow. Good boy. And of course, our dogs. My dogs are, are my best friends. We travel the country together hunting birds. We go through the highest of highs and we go through low points together and through it all, they're just a constant source of love and adventure. I've been a hunter since I could walk. My dad fully immersed me in the hunting world and I grew up following in his footsteps in the woods and wetlands of Minnesota and he just instilled a great love for the outdoors in me and a deep care and respect which has ultimately been the trajectory of my life. A desire to protect wild places ultimately lured both Emily and Renee to the prairie. I have been with Pheasants Forever for five and a half years now and I am the senior field representative for North Dakota. And I'm a precision ag and conservation specialist with Pheasants Forever and I've been in this position for four years now and I just love it. It's just endless out here. You can get lost for days. Really the only way you can wrap your head around it is to come out here and explore. Walking along the Cannonball River, we soak in the views of North Dakota's big sky bird country. It feels like heaven on earth. But our picture perfect hunt. There were birds in here, sir. Suddenly turns to terror. Following a flying rooster, Quill slipped off the edge of a 50-foot cliff.
paralyzed from the fall, pain sends Renee's dog into shock. Hoping to save his life, we cut our cameras and race Quill to the nearest vet. After a long, sleepless night, we wait for answers that don't come. Quill suffered a broken leg and major internal injuries. If he makes it to 24 hours, doctors believe Quill has a chance. We're gonna do this one for Quill today, okay? This one's for Quill. I question going back into the field, but it's the only thing that feels right. Ready to go, girl. Whoa. Okay. Hunting has a way of being therapeutic. There's no shortage of tracks on this property. This is state land. Anybody can hunt it. I'm, I'm optimistic that she'll find them. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. Right here. She found one already. Wow, just like that. Wow. You hold it, girl. I'm coming. She's moving her head, I think, at her hand. They're not far away. Oh, there goes a cubby. Huns. She you know, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Good girl, Daisy. Whoa. Good girl. It's like a scene out of a postcard. These are the views that come with the roller coaster ride, living a life behind a bird dog. The Flush is brought to you by Chief Upland, Southwire Tools and Equipment, Wells Lamont Gloves. DeWalt Utility and Sump Pumps, and by Negrini Cases. If you love bird hunting, dog training, and hearing amazing stories from the field, then we invite you to join us each week for brand new episodes of the Flush Podcast. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. I don't know what it is about watching a dog hunt, but I can't take my eyes off of it. She's picked up some scent. There it is. She found one. Whoa. Hold them, girl. They're running. Oh, right here. Whoa. Oh, there they go. Hen, hen, whoa. There's just something about a bird dog. They live to give us everything they've got. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at her. She's on fire. It's just grass is unbelievable right now. Hunting with a heavy heart, I find peace watching my dog run. This is what you dream of when you come to North Dakota. Golden grass and just open spaces to watch your dog. He's just pinning them. There was a bird there, very recently. Oh, rooster, shoot! Oh, bummer, girl. She had the wind at her back there. It surprised her as much as it surprised me, I think. Hunting has a way of teaching lessons, and that's a good thing. Long ago, our ancestors hunted to survive. Today, many of us hunt to stay connected to this wild world. Out here, perspective comes easy. It's just a highway of tracks. Beautiful sight. Struggles are real. Accidents happen. I don't want to go on the cliff. I'm just, I'm just uneasy about it. And there's beauty in all of it. Look at this girl. Are you kidding me? I want you to back up. Oh, man, whoa. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh. That was awesome. She just slammed on the brakes. Did a 180. There's a bird in front of her. Oh, and whoa. Whoa. Be another one. That was awesome. Oh, and and there's a rooster in here. Come on. Okay. Oh my goodness. Quill is eating. Now it's just getting to the 24 hour mark. It's crucial. Then it's just taking one step at a time. That's such good news. He has a chance. We came to this prairie to celebrate our dogs. North Dakota dished out an experience we'll never forget. In life, when you get knocked down, it just means you have the opportunity to get back up and try again. Come here, girl. Find him. There you go, she's on point. Yep, right there. Oh crap, hen. Whoa, hen, rooster, rooster, shoot. Fetch it up, Daisy. Good girl. Here. <laughs> Gills, thank you so much. Oh. Oh. Thanks, girl. It's a bittersweet bird. Life with a bird dog simply can't be scripted. Thankfully, Quill's story still has more chapters left to write. On the prairie, the strong always survive, and Quill has lived to hunt birds once again. He's a walking miracle and a dog life member of Pheasants Forever. <laughs>